What is going on everybody? It is the Kansas Dipper. Ready to come at you with another dipping video here today. And can you recognize me? Huh? Can you? I can't recognize myself. Uh, I shaved finally. I needed to shave so bad. I didn't shave for literally probably like five or six months. It was ridiculous. But uh, I look like a kid again. And it is so funny. Um... I put a, I, uh, I went, like, the day that I shaved, I went and I bought a can of dip before I shaved. And then afterwards, I went to the, the same gas station. I didn't plan on getting, uh, a dip can, but I was just like, I want to see, I want to see if they recognize me, because my parents told me, like, you look completely different. It was the same cashier, <laughs> same everything. I was wearing the same clothes, but she carded me, so... Probably going to be getting carded for a while now until all this comes back in. Um, but, man, I just it's, un, it's unreal how different I look. At least I think I look different. But, anyway, it's the Kansas Dipper, guys. Uh, I think it's been a little while since my last video. Not really sure. Um, but I'm making one. And uh, we're going to be talking about the dipping community again. This is kind of going to be a video response to... Um, a guy named Chubb Fucka, um, Uncle Chubb, I'm gonna call him Uncle Chubb, uh, for the sake of this video. Um, he's been around for a while. Um, he, he doesn't have that many videos, um, but he, he has been a part of the dipping community for, uh, I believe four to five years. So he's been around the block, he knows, you know, he's been around for a, a while, a long time, so, um, he put up a really good video, um, it was basically him talking about the dipping community, and everything and it was just it, it, it was such a great video um so we're gonna talk about that and also so it's gonna be kind of a video response to him and also um, just further furthering my opinions because he brought up some uh, really good stuff that I kinda wanna talk about and things I wanna bring up so we're gonna get our lip loaded here with some Copenhagen wintergreen dipping on the left side lately um, Right side has been getting pretty raw. God damn it. Need more. It's so weird. Whenever I dip on my left side, I throw in such bigger dips. Because it just doesn't feel the same. Like, I need more on this side for it to feel the same as it over here. I don't know. My joke of the day is the kryptonite and sadly this one is discontinued so unfortunately you can't go to www.mudjug.com and get you one but you can go to mudjug.com and pick up any other sick uh, mud jugs that they got up there I've had this one for a while I think I ordered this one like a five days after it came out something like that uh, really cool mud jug it's been discontinued for quite a while now but still spitting in it alright so uh, what brought this whole video up? Um, I made a video on um, my weight loss update and also uh, just a rant on the dipping community. And then out of nowhere, I'm just like, Uncle Chubb commented on one of my videos. I'm like, what? Like, I thought that was crazy. Like, I've been watching this dude's videos for a very long time. And like I said, he's been around for a while. He's one of the originals. And I was like, this guy commented on one of my videos. Like, and I think he subscribed as well. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he did. But So I was just like mind blown that this guy commented on one of my videos. And um, he said that, you know, good video, man. Uh, check out my last video on like social acceptance or something. He, he just said it's my latest video. I talk about uh, social acceptance and everything. So I was like, well, I, I was like, okay, I'll watch it. And, um, sadly, I did not watch the whole video, uh, cause I noticed that he commented on that, uh, on my video pretty late, and I was about to go to bed, and, uh, and I'm just like every other teenager, every other person, you know, you get in bed and you're on your phone for, like, 30 minutes before you go to sleep. I do that every night, I swear, like, I would get so much more sleep if if I didn't use my phone. Like I should just start leaving my phone like over here and let it charge overnight. This way I don't lose so much fucking sleep. It's crazy. 
But, uh, so anyway, so that's why I didn't get to watch the whole video. I kind of want to go back and watch it uh, in its entirety, but from what I did see, um, man, he just, uh, he, he, he brought up so many great points, and it, it feel oh, it's falling off. Got, got a little coaster thing with a signed mud jug above it, and notice it's sticking out a little bit. Sorry. But, it, it, it just felt, it felt so good to know that somebody, like, the entire time I was watching his, that video, I was just thinking, like, I feel the exact same way. And it, it was crazy. Because I, I, I literally thought that I was the only person in the dipping community. Uh, let me move that up a little bit for you guys. I thought I was literally like the only person that thought that the dipping community was kind of dying. Uh, it was going downhill. Um, the, it wasn't the same as it was back in the day. I literally thought I was the only person that thought that. Um, but man, especially for one of the you know one of the original people to think to think that. One of the people that's been around for a long time. Mm. It just, it was so cool. And he brought up some really great points, and I kind of want to touch on them. Um, he said, you know, some, I can't remember exactly what he said, but al along these lines. He said something about, um, you know, obviously maturity. Um he brought up a good point. He's been watching a lot of uh, vaping videos, you know, the electronic cigarettes, uh, the e hookah, the the vape pens or whatever they're called. I don't know much about them because I am an ex a dip exclusive exclusive dipper. Only tobacco product I use, and that, that's another thing. I don't smoke. I don't use anything. I, I just the only thing that I use tobacco wise is dip and chew. So. But anyway, uh, he said that he's been watching, you know, um, th those types of videos in, in, in that community. And he, he said, uh, you, know, you know, the comments in the comment section, the comments in the comments section, he said that the comments were just, you know, they, they were like how the dipping community used to be. You know, just starting conversations over what the video is about. Uh, giving each other's tips, giving each other pointers, um, you know, just having good vibes, good conversations, and, um, and, and no trash talk, nothing like that, you know, oh, excuse me, and that, that's just, that's because I think, I'm pretty sure that that community is a fairly new community, so it's not really, you know, when the dipping community first started, it was just nothing but mature people. Because back then, you know, I'm not sure there was a lot of underage dippers. There weren't, you know, entertainers that might, might, you know, encourage a kid to dip or something. It was just all, you know, grown up guys, um, mature guys making these videos. And that's how the vaping community is now. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I watched like two vaping videos. I, you know, I'm not a big thing, but it, it makes sense because you know it's a new community. There, there's really the immature people haven't really got into it yet. Um, if you hear my dog, I'm sorry. But that's just you know that's how the dipping community used to be, and the the dipping community it's just it's grown so much. And you know, like Cajun Tiger said, anything good is going to grow. Um, but along with it growing, there come different crowds. And with those different crowds are unfortunately a big, a big group of them are just immature little kids. Um, I mean, seriously, go go look at the comment section on like a Cajun Tiger six one six video, and then go look at the comment section on an Outlaw Dipper video. It's two polar opposites, like two completely different worlds, two completely different things, and it, 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 it's crazy. It's blown my mind how much it's changed uh, over the years, how it's gone, how it went from, you know, a mature community to just a community filled with kids and immature people just starting stuff over everything, and it's pretty sad. It, it really is, guys. It's pretty sad. Um, and, yeah. 
but anyway, I mean, just just Uncle Chubb's video, man. It really, it, it just made it's, it made so much sense to me. Um, you know, just all these little kids running around, having to start stuff. I that that's just that's just how it is now. And it's sad because, you know, if you if you watch like a vaping video or something like that, um, you you could picture like. 20 year olds, 25 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, you know, watching that video because it's just, it's a review, it's a guy coming on, he's talking about a product because from what I've seen, there are tons, like thousands of different products uh, for vaping and different accessories and different types of, you know, flavors and juices and all these just crazy products. Um, so, you, you know, you go watch one of them videos and it's just the guy talking about it and, you know, giving tips, giving tricks on how to, you know, wire a certain vape pen or set something up the correct way or something like that, how to use it properly, stuff like that. And that's how the dipping community used to be. And that's how the vaping community is now. And then the people in the comments, they would just talk about what's going on in the video. But now you got Outlaw Dipper who, uh, you know, does his own thing and you look at the comments and if somebody says something about outlaw all the little kids just go and attack the shit out of the person and yeah it's just it's really sad and so like I said you know you can see many different age groups watching a, a vape type video 20 to 40 however because you picture a 25, 30, 35, 40 year old watching an Outlaw Dipper video. Like some guy just getting on a camera and acting crazy and acting stupid and, you know, all this stuff being entertaining. Um, and I went like this because it's not really entertaining to me. In my opinion, Outlaw targets a very young audience uh, with his entertainment style and it just doesn't appeal to me. His older videos did. You know, back before he got all crazy and everything, and he just made simple dip videos. That's the kind of stuff I like. Um, that's why I'm, I, I watch Mud Jug One's videos, uh, Michigan Dipper videos, Joey Led's videos. I still go back and watch Cajun Tiger videos every once in a while. Um, Cope Junkies, uh, he makes really good videos. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really watch Outlaw Dipper anymore. I honestly just go on there to get a good laugh out of the comment section uh, and to just prove my point even more that, you know, Outlaw Target's a very young audience and it, it's crazy. So, in my opinion, the dipping community, in my opinion, there's the dipping community and then there's the Outlaw community. You know, there, there's dip video fans and then there's Outlaw fans. Because I guarantee that if, you know, the typical outlaw fan, like 13, 14, 12 years old, goes back and watches a Cajun Tiger 616 video, or goes back and watches a Hard Rider video, even though those are probably gone. But if they go back and watch like a Cajun Tiger video, they're going to be bored as shit because the dude's not acting crazy, the dude's not cussing and doing all this stupid, crazy stuff. He's not doing full cans, you know. And he's just getting on there and talking about a dip and just talking about something. You know, they're not going to be entertained by that. That's not what they want. And they're saying, oh, this, this is stupid. This video fucking sucks. I'm going to go watch some Outlaw. Because that's just kind of the audience that they are. That's the stuff that they want. So, like I said, in my opinion, there's Outlaw fans and then there's the dipping community. There's the Outlaw community and there's, there's the dipping community. They're two different things, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah. So... If you guys uh, would, I really appreciate it, um, and I would like you guys to go check out uh, Chub Fucka, uh, Uncle Chub. Um, he and by the way, he is just he he's one of the like I said, he's one of the originals, and he's still a guy you know who still makes videos. But the way that the dipping community is, and he's just a laid back guy, you know, kind of like me. I mean, he's you know, he he's an older guy. Not trying to offend you, Uncle Chubb. I'm just saying. Uh, you know, he's an older guy. He's older than the typical guy that um, makes dip videos. At least he, you know, that the way he presents himself, uh, that's how I... He could be young. He could be in his 30s. Um, but 
just the way he presents himself, he's so mature, he's so laid back, he's just an overall good guy, you know. And in my opinion, the dipping community would be so much better with guy, with more guys like him. Um, just a great all-around, relaxed, laid-back, just good guy. Um, and we we definitely need more Uncle Chubbs in the dipping community. So, uh, YouTube.com slash C-H-U-B-P-H-U-C-K-A. Pretty sure I got that. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it for me, guys. This is probably the last video that I'm going to be making on the dipping community. Um... But yeah, that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the Kansas Dipper. Down 60 pounds. Hit 60 pounds. Lost yesterday. Doing great. So that's it for me. Again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the Kansas Dipper. If you would, drop a like and drop a comment. I really appreciate that, guys. And also, if you would feel inclined to do so, subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. So until next time, guys, this is the Kansas Dipper. Signing off.